Some local high schools get their shot at building a laser thanks to Boeing. Now, Fox 2's Patrick Clark shows you how it's all a push to help get more women interested in becoming engineers. The virtual possibilities were endless for these young girls Thursday afternoon. They were given the opportunity to walk in Boeing engineers' footsteps and through their virtual planes. And basically we like use the 3D modeling. We had to brainstorm and come up with like a whole bunch of different ideas and everything. Yeah, it took a lot of time, but we all eventually agreed on something. Normally only a select few get to walk through the doors at Boeing's Phantom Works Immersion Center. But 30 students from Rockwood, Parkway, McClure, and Girls Inc. came to try some holographic hands-on learning. We want to inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Thursday, it was the right stuff in the virtual cave and an Oculus Rift that made up this STEM experience. It's like something that I know will help better, like us in general, people in general, it's like such a great thing to have. The aerospace company is hoping by using innovation, they might inspire the next engineer's imagination to take flight. And it's a move that might help the region soar, which for a company celebrating their centennial is a very 21st century forward thinking kind of move. This is our future. These students behind me, they are our future. If our company wants to be around for another 100 years, we've got to get these students interested in math and science. We've got to get them into college. They've got to graduate from college with engineering degrees to help us, again, continue to move on and, and develop products uh, for the next 100 years. Inside Boeing's Phantom Works Immersion Center, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.